Recluse will now show you how to install the EXP Auto Clutch for cable actuated big twin Harley Davidson models. We will begin with the prep and disassembly phase. Use a suitable bike stand for this installation. Drain the primary chain case oil into a suitable container. Soak the Recluse friction discs and EXP disc in transmission oil for at least 5 minutes. In order to access the primary chain case cover, it will be helpful to remove the foot rests and foot pedal shift mechanism. On the rear foot rest, you can remove the top bolt and rotate the assembly out of the way. On the shift mechanism, just remove the inside bolt and the entire assembly can be removed. In some instances, you may also need to remove the side stand. Remove the derby cover. Now remove the primary chain case cover, paying close attention to where the different length bolts are located. Shorten the clutch cable housing using two end wrenches. Ensure your clutch lever has a lot of slack. Remove the pressure plate bolts holding the spring ring and Belleville spring together. We will be replacing the hold down ring, but reusing the Belleville spring. Pull the pressure plate and throw out off of the clutch pack. Now remove the entire OEM clutch pack, including the metal judder spring and spring seat. It may be helpful for you to use picks during this step. From the OEM clutch pack, we will be reusing the metal spring seat and judder spring, but none of the other OEM frictions or drive plates. The Recluse EXP for Harley-Davidson Big Twin models comes with 12 basket sleeves. Install each of these sleeves into the basket slots with the flat tabbed side facing inward towards the center of the clutch. Be sure to seat the basket sleeve against the bottom of the basket. In some models, the sleeves can stick above or below the top of the basket tangs. We are now ready for phase two of the installation process, clutch pack installation. Note, when installing the recluse friction discs, it is very important that the notches in the friction tabs are aligned for optimal clutch performance. The recluse friction disc pack utilizes one thicker friction for use with the OEM judder spring and seat. Install this thicker recluse friction disc first. Within this thicker friction disc, place the flat OEM spring seat and Belleville judder spring. The judder spring should be installed with the open cupped end facing you. The recluse drive plate stack comes with one thicker drive plate. Install this thicker drive plate next. Now install a recluse thin friction disc, followed by a recluse thin steel drive plate. Recluse tech tip. Using picks can help keep the basket sleeves in place, especially during installation of the first few plates. Continue this alternating pattern of recluse frictions and drive plates. Once the clutch pack is all installed, you should have one thick friction disc, the OEM spring seat and judder spring, one thick drive plate, nine recluse friction discs, and nine recluse thin steel drive plates. Now install the EXP disc after the last drive plate has been installed. The EXP disc itself can be installed with either side facing up. There is no top or bottom. Align the tab notches on the EXP disc with the tab notches on the friction discs. Now that our clutch pack installation is complete, we can begin the pressure plate installation process. Reinstall the OEM pressure plate and throw out assembly. Place the OEM Belleville spring back up against the pressure plate, cupped side down. Use the supplied Recluse high torque hold down ring to secure the Belleville spring to the pressure plate. Use a 10 millimeter socket to begin snugging up the bolts. It is very important to tighten these as evenly as possible to avoid breaking these bolts. Torque these to OEM specification. At this point, we're ready to set the install gap. This step is critical to achieving proper auto clutch function and performance. Be sure that the jam nut is loose enough for the adjuster screw to thread in without interference. Using the long end of a 732nd Allen key, turn the adjuster clockwise until you feel an abrupt increase in turning effort. This is known as the starting point. Now switch to the short end of the Allen wrench for leverage. Turn the adjuster screw further clockwise one full turn plus one quarter. 
This will lift the pressure plate and provide our needed install gap. Now thread the jam nut in finger tight. Use an open end wrench with the Allen inserted to prevent inadvertent spinning of the adjustment screw to securely tighten the jam nut. Go back to the inline cable adjustment and lengthen the clutch cable housing. You want to retain the OEM amount of free play in your clutch lever. Now that we have our install gap set, we must reinstall the primary cover. Replace the primary cover gasket with a new OEM gasket. Torque the primary case bolts to OEM specification, adhering to the specific torque sequence pattern. Reinstall the drain bolt. Refill the primary case with transmission oil. Reinstall the derby cover. Reattach any removed footrests, shift mechanism, or side stand. We must now verify that our install gap is correct by checking free play gain. Place the transmission in neutral and let the engine warm up for about 2-3 to three minutes. Use your index finger to apply enough force on the lever to overcome the free play, but not enough to lift the pressure plate. Now quickly blip the throttle to about 3500 RPM and let it return to idle. Each time you blip the throttle, the clutch lever should quickly move in towards the grip about 1 8 of an inch. This 1 8 inch of movement means that your install gap is correct. It is possible to have too much or no free play gain at all. If anything other than 1 8 inch of movement is occurring, you must readjust your adjustment screw on the pressure plate. Recluse Tech Tip Any gap adjustments needed after the initial install can be done through the derby cover. Adjusting the screw clockwise will provide less free play gain, whereas adjusting the screw counterclockwise will provide more free play gain. Once the 1 8 inch of free play gain is achieved, we can do our break in procedure. With the engine warmed up and transmission in neutral, rev the engine 10 times, ensuring that RPM returned to idle between each rev. Now with the engine running, pull in the clutch lever and click the transmission into first gear. Slowly let out the clutch lever. The bike should stay running in place. Slowly roll on the throttle without touching the clutch lever and take off. Accelerate to about 3500 RPM and come to a complete stop, still without touching the clutch lever. Perform this roll on takeoff 10 times. Now shift into second gear. Do the same thing without touching the clutch lever and perform another 10 slow roll on takeoffs in this second gear. Now recheck your free play gain. Verify that you still have 1 8 inch of lever movement. If anything other than 1 8 inch of lever movement is occurring, you must make a pressure plate adjustment. Place the supplied safety warning on the inside of your clutch lever. You have now successfully installed the Recluse EXP Auto Clutch. Enjoy your better ride.